Greetings to you this day. In the name of Jesus. Jesus sacrificed his body to make us holy. And that sacrifice was sufficient. Therefore, we are holy through the eyes of Jesus. And by that sacrifice, he cleansed and perfected us. What a tremendous love Jesus has for us. Not only are we made holy by the sacrifice of his body, but we are forever cleansed and perfected by, this, by that single offering of himself. He said in John 19.30, it is finished. He has done it. Once and for all. Hebrews 10.14 says, For by a single offering, he has forever completely cleansed and perfected those who are consecrated and made holy. Hallelujah. Are you realizing that that's awesome, great news? Are you realizing that it's all his work? That you do not have to strive to be spiritual enough for God? Praise his name. Jesus already has done a completed work to make you holy, perfected, and cleansed. Now you can respond with joy and thanksgiving for what he has done. It is his work, not ours or any other human beings. And his work is finished. So, let's just say, thank you, Jesus, that you have forever cleansed and perfected me. It is finished. You have done it. He also says that by that sacrifice of his body, that single offering, we are without spot or blemish. He's coming for a bride without spot or blemish, and we are that bride. Colossians 1, and 23b. But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your faith, established and firm, not moved from the hope held out in the gospel. Hallelujah. Glory and honor and praise be to God for what his son Jesus did on the cross by that single offering of his body. And his shed blood. Through his own body, Jesus was able to present each of us holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. Hallelujah. Again, this is something that was done for you already. It's finished. And it was an act of of love on our behalf. Hallelujah. The Apostle Paul drew an analogy in Ephesians in order to paint a word picture of Jesus' act of love for us. Ephesians 5, 25 through 27. Husbands, 
Love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through his word and to present her to himself as a radiant church. The church is the body of Christ, not a building. Hallelujah. Because it's without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. How do you receive his provision? You receive it by faith. Romans ten seventeen. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. He cleanses each of us by washing with water, through the word. That's just, it just uh, really makes me happy. Um, when I think of that, when I have experienced his love, his gift of love, because I have received it, it just, it's so glorious. There's nothing there's nothing more I could ever need in my life than to be with him, to sense his love, to hear him say, I love you. I love you with an everlasting love. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. You are precious to me. You're a royal diadem in my hand. Just keep coming back. Coming back, he says. Coming back to be with me so that I can love you and set you free.